Hi, I'm Victoria Hoverson and I live in Minot, North Dakota. Hi guys, my name is Kara and I'm from Lebanon, Tennessee. Hi, my name is Brooke Sowards. I'm from Carleton, Michigan, but I'm currently living on Vancouver Island in Canada. Hi, I'm Titus Alexander and I'm from Akron, Ohio. Hello, I'm Hannah Smith and I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi there, I'm Kayla George and I'm from Farmington, Missouri. Hi, my name is Philip Minica and I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Hi, my name is Kelly Hoffman and I live in Kent, Ohio. Hi, my name is Emma Fernandez and I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. And that is your 2024 Alumni Service Team. Hi, I'm Rachel, I live in North Central Florida and this year I have the honor of leading your Alumni Service Team. The Alumni Service Team is here to help participants, hosts, and parents in a few different ways. First, we moderate the National Bible Week social community, answering questions and also giving advice and tips and encouragement. We'll also be heading up a few community quests throughout the summer, which are fun games and challenges on the community to help contestants with their studying in a super fun and engaging way. At the National Bible Week competition, we'll serve as division guides, helping out Bible Week staff in different capacities. If you ever have any questions about the competition, the summer study, or anything else, put a post on the National Why Will Be Participant community and we will answer as soon as we can. I am currently a private piano teacher and one of my favorite hobbies is baking and cooking, especially experimenting with different kinds of sourdough bread. And a fun fact about me is that me and my family owned an ice cream truck business for five years. One of our best selling flavors was Juneberry. You should try it sometime. I am currently finishing my junior year at Union University where I'm studying economics, finance, and biblical studies. And in my free time, I love working in admissions and being involved with student government and welcome week on campus. And a fun fact about me is that I think it's always a good time to play pickleball. I'm currently working towards schooling and training to become a missionary. A few things I enjoy doing are reading, puzzles, movie nights with my family, and studying different languages. Un dato curioso sobre mí es que casi hablo español con fluidez, pero mi gramática no es perfecto todavía. This fall, I will be starting my junior year at Patrick Henry College to pursue a degree in classical liberal arts. Before then, I'll be working at Chick-fil-A over the summer. In my spare time, I enjoy reading books, talking with friends, and playing chess. Right now I work at Chick-fil-A and in the fall I'll be at Liberty University pursuing a major in electrical engineering and a minor in biomedical sciences. A fun fact about me is that I have two twin older sisters and I'm part of a set of triplets. In my free time I enjoy memorizing scripture, studying with my friends, reading, and playing my cello. I'm currently working as a teacher at two different Christian day schools for homeschoolers where I teach both classical education, which involves helping my students with scripture memory, as well as piano and music theory. When I'm not working, I love reading, gardening, cooking, memorizing scripture, making music, and believe it or not, I love doing laundry. A fun fact about me is that I have and will continue to attempt to play every instrument that I come into contact with. However, my main instrument, which I've been playing for 14 years now, is the piano. But it was just a little too big to try to bring out here. Currently, I work at a construction company as a carpenter's apprentice. When I'm off work, I really enjoy both hunting and fishing. And one fun fact about me is back in 2021, I started my own dog breeding business and I'm expecting another litter of puppies sometime in June. Currently, I'm working on a bachelor's in paralegal studies from Kent State University. In my free time, I enjoy reading, embroidery, and studying history. I'm currently in college majoring in both English and piano. When I'm not reading a book or playing the piano, I like to enjoy my free time by doing some hand lettering and calligraphy, bird watching on hikes, watercolor painting, and spending time with my friends and family. Recently, I graduated with my bachelor's degree in early childhood education. Currently, I'm praying about how the Lord would like me to use that degree while I also substitute teach in our local elementary schools. In my spare time, I love baking sourdough bread, hand lettering, crocheting, spending time with family and friends, and enjoying God's creation. I also enjoy playing many instruments, including the violin, cello, and piano. 1 John 3, 19-20 By this we shall know that we are of the truth and reassure our heart before him. For whenever our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart, and he knows everything. John 1, 14, And the word became flesh, and dwelt among us, and we saw his glory. 
glory as of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. John 14, 6, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Psalm 25, 4-5 Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. Psalm 86, 11 Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. John 17, 17 Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. Psalm 100, verse 5. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. James 1, 18. Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. John 8, 31 through 32. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. 2 Timothy 2.15 Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth.